Okay, I know what is the first thing that you guys wish to see. You wish to see proof of earnings. Now, this is my Redbubble account and here you can see I made 20 euros and that is not much and that is because I'm selling stickers and you need to sell a lot of stickers to make 20 euros. If I were selling t-shirts, I would make much more money. And let me refresh this so you can see that this is actually not a Photoshop, that this is actually a real thing. As you can see, this is still here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make money with Redbubble and print on demand in general. Now, one of the easiest, actually easiest way to make money with Redbubble and print on demand and actually with affiliate marketing as well is to follow trends. Why? Because everybody is doing marketing for you. All you have to do is just ride that wave and you will make money with Redbubble and print on demand. But you're probably thinking right now, well, how do I actually find those trends? Don't worry, there is a tool that will help you to find trends. So what you need to do, you need to go on a website called Bubble Spider. And you're probably thinking right now, well, and you're probably thinking right now, well, how much that software actually costs? I'm a beginner, I don't have money to invest, right? Well, actually, it is free. It is 100% free. So what you need to do, you just need to click here on Get Started, okay? And here you can see, you can actually search trends by keyword. And here you can see some setups. I'm talking about, I will talk about these setups later. Now, here you can choose language. I will choose English. And here you can see, you can rank trends by ranking. Or you can, as you can see here, or you can rank trends by trends by trend, okay, as you, high to low. Here you can see competition, here you can see keyword, here you can see Google trend, and here you can see TM. Now I will actually show you how I set up this software when I'm searching for trends, okay? So let me just get this back on the beginning, okay? So here you can see, this is really, really important, guys, okay? So pay close attention. Here you can see trademark. Here you can see red and yellow avoid red and yellow trademark trademarks okay because those are protected and if you use them you will be banned from redbubble and any other print on demand company here you can see hydro it is a red tm which means this is actually a trademark it is protected trademark you cannot use that now yellow usually means that this guy those guys actually filed for trademark and they are just waiting to get that trademark so do not use red and yellow okay so i will actually switch that off okay and here you can see now is only showing me green which means these are not protected with trademark okay now next thing i need to do i actually here i can see here trends now i don't want these failing trends okay here you can see red which means those are failing trends so what i wish to do i wish to actually move this slider here for example above 1000 okay and here you can see now is only showing me trends that, that have more than 1000 okay and also i don't want high competition i don't want strong competition so what i will do i will actually move this to be below 500 okay below 500 and here you can see competition is now below 500 now this is also really important here you can see these are all green which means they are not protected with trademark but here you can see nick fuentes now that is a name that is actually protected protected with copyright which means you cannot use it all avoid names names of people names of celebrities names of uh, football clubs names of uh, tv shows avoid names they are not trademark but they are copyright protected okay so avoid names so what you actually need to do you need to go through all of these uh, keywords here and let me just find okay my boat doesn't run on tanks so i this actually looks like a quote so what i need to do i simply need to copy this and I need to go on Google and I will actually check that out. Press here. Let me just check this out. Okay. This actually does look like a quote. So it is not protected with trademark and also it is not a copyright protected. So next thing I need to do, I actually need to go back here on Redbubble. So let me just go back here and I need to research that. So I will paste that here. Okay. And let me just go back here. 498 competition which means 498 designs so let me just check out okay 502 so they added a few more designs four more designs about this quote and here i can see all the designs t-shirts the stickers and all the other stuff so i need to check out this so for example let me just open this first one here just to check it out and i will actually click here here you can see 
person who who made this design i used to check it and i will click here and here you can see this person has only 40 designs now for red bubble that is not much so next thing i need to do i need to click here okay and i need to sort this by best selling now i wish to see is this design here among the best selling designs of this person so actually it is a best selling design of this guy here this person here so that is a good sign so what i need to do i need to close this and i need to check out another one so for example i just see this t-shirt okay i wish to check it out and again i will click to check out this person who actually designed this t-shirt here you can see now this person here has 1055 designs now that is actually an, an average number of designs on redbubble okay it is a lot it takes a lot of time to make that many designs but that is actually average number of designs and again i need to see is this design among the best selling designs of this person here so again i will check out best selling and let me just check out and here you can see actually it is not even in top 15 which means that this is actually selling but not that good that not, not that well but you can still make money with this quote here because obviously competition is not that big which means you can rank as a, among the top results if you optimize your design well and also we saw here that people are actually searching for this and that this is actually a trend okay here you can see this is a google trend which means this is a trend and people are talking about this which means pe other people are actually doing marketing for you so you can make money with this if you follow this trend so this is another important thing Trends come and go, they don't last long. So what you need to do, you need to come at least two or three times per week on Bubble Spider to check out, are there any new trends? Now, it is really, really important for trends to catch them early. If you don't catch them early, now it is too late because competition became too big, too strong, you probably won't make any sales. But if you catch it early, then there is almost no competition and that means you can make sales you can make money because everybody's talking about that but there is not that many designs and that is why you need to come at least two or three times every week on spider bubble to see are there any new trends and you can go here on second page on third page on fourth page you can see there is currently four pages and you can rank and you can see are there any uh, keywords that are not trademarks and also that are not copyright protected and here you can see for example now i'm becoming that barbie now that is actually not good because it mentions barbie and barbie is protected is copyright protected so avoid that like i said pay attention on trademarks and also pay attention on copyrights that is really really important and if you do that you can make money with redbubble and print on demand that's it for today guys if you wish to see more ways to make money online make sure to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to like this video and also on your right side you can see more videos that you can watch on youtube that may help you to make money online